Hello everyone and welcome to another Saturday Geek Second Life video with me John Parker and me Jack Kelling and today we are reviewing the Battle Console damaged version. Now last, hmm, not last week, well, yeah, well, it was the week before we did the Battle Console, the uh, cleaned up version. However this one today is the damaged version. Now as you can imagine th th this review will be more or less um, shorter than the last one. Many because we've gone through the controls, we've gone through the sound effects, although they might be slightly different in this one, and of course the other external um, console effects as well. That depends if they're different as <laughs> and all, but um, we'll find out. So all in all, it should be shorter than the last. So um, let's begin. Let's summon. There we go. Battle Dam. It's called the exterior. Yes, I'm, it should be uh, similar to the previous one, but obviously in a damaged state. Whoa! I had a bit of a sound lag then. Ooh. I do have to make the note that because it's damaged, the. Uh, yes, I had the same problem, Jack. Uh, that because it's damaged, I'm having the same. Um, you know, the sound effect changes that they had from the previous one? Yeah. Like it sounds like it's blowing up, <laughs> effectively. So. Um. So yeah, the, there's actually not much change on the exterior except that the, the textures look a bit more um, burnt out, rusty, like, you know, scorch mm. marks. And also I've noticed that some of the guns are moved as if they've been used and also blown off or broken yes, in certain observation. places. Some rusty textures. That, oh, yes, I do remember one change. Oopsie daisy. Uh, the light, if I think, I think it's this one. I'm not quite sure. Mm -hmm. but one of the lights should start blinking. Should be. I did see it last time. It's like on a random effect. Also, the um, outer, find it for you. the outer oh. bits, the outer bits are um, chopped off as well. Yes, yes, they are. Some bits of uh, yeah. So um, not Fine, really much of a change, but it definitely um, sets in the good theme of a, a damaged console. So, that is odd, Jack. You know, all these lights. Not one of them has the scripting that does all the blinking. I did see it when I was on an, at NLS. These lights should, like, every now and again, like, one of them will, like, flicker on and off. Am I looking at the wrong one? No, they're all steady lights. Mm. We've just got a different version then. But either way, it should be flickering. Huh. Yay. Yes, they fixed, they, they fixed the bug. I yeah. saw Laredo fixing it. Well, I didn't see him, Laredo. Uh, he said he was fixing it. Okay. I've got a mesh lag uh, as well, I have. Have you? Oh, like things like slowing. There we go. That's that better. Rest. Right. Well. This is uh, a bit different. Not much of a change. Oh. But well, I am changes seeing that. much more. Um, there are some more uh, different. Uh, there are much more detailed um, aspects of this than the last one, mainly to do with the walls that have been blown off. Mm. I've noticed they've got little bits of shrapnel. Shrapnel is the word, yeah. And the columns. The <laughs> yes, columns, columns have been like knocked off <laughs> lately, like some strong one. Bosher. Columns. But um, columns. You said columns. Did I? Oh, columns. <laughs> uh, also, I think I'm not. I'm not entirely sure if I can remember last week's video, but um, the colour of the lights, I think they're different. They're like a more they're darker. sinister colour. They are darker. Yes, they mm. are. They're much darker. Yeah. Almost as if it's like running out of energy. Oh, talk about running out of energy. Look, a blinking light. A couple of blinking lights. Oh, I like that. It's like it's... Are you sure it's, it's not mesh? What isn't? Oh no, no, you're definitely right. You're definitely right, that is really good. I thought it was just the mesh lagging out. Yeah, it's really good. I, I like this. Has, has that got like a... No? They must just have it... Uh... <laughs> Interesting. Carry I on like, then. I like this section over here. This bit over here. Yes, yes, I, that was what, when I first had a quick look at this, um, when they were releasing it. That bit really um, caught my attention. Yeah, it was the first thing, because it's like we had that panel in the previous thing, unless it's, unless they've moved it to the one over there, the, the scripts and whatnot, but we had this panel in the previous one, Actually, no. and now the panel's completely destroyed, so how can we use it? 
it is destroyed. I think you'll find it's not even. Weapons on standby. Plasma bolt released. What are they? Uh, Target in eliminated. It or? Hang on. Hmm. Shields holding. Oh, have they? Have they moved out of that? Hang on. Blinking lights. So that effect has been kept. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> some what did you say? I don't know. There are some slight differences, um, which I do like actually, because I like uh, new things rather than old. Weapons on standby. Weapons Ooh. on standby. Did we see this in the previous released. version? Plasma bolt released. Hang on. Type 60 out of range of Dalek vessels. Right. They've moved them. Yeah. They have moved them, but they have changed them as well. So is that panel over there um, in the previous version, or was it not scripted? Um, With that one... It was mainly that the, the power and the plasma bolt released the Arctic ship out of range. That was mainly the one that was um, that was there, but the other ones from the other console have actually been put into that. So it's like that they've transmitted the data over or the functionality over to the new console, which yeah. is quite cool. But yeah, um, the bits I love in this mostly is the cables and the bits you can see behind the walls. Yes, Ooh, I had a column in my way. Uh, this one, yes. for example. Ooh. And the green smoke. Sorry, where's you looking? This panel's been blown off here, look. Oh, yes, you know, I haven't seen all this little detail. Chipboards, um, radiators, everything. Do you know, that is. Oh, I like that. I do mm. like the chipboard uh, texture. That is yeah. very clear. I like what's that. This? PCB, I should say. Where is it? Oh. Oh. Yeah, I've noticed, I was about to ask you, Jack, if you see over here, in the, underneath the console, there's this little uh, compartment with these wires, these blue wires feeding into it. And I don't know why, because it's, it's out, you see, and I was thinking on the other one, it wasn't out, was it? So it's like it's been modified while it was in battle. That is pretty cool. And the lights are blinking over here, look, this one here. So uh, I'm just thinking, you know, they've added some cool little changes. Yeah, neon flicker. So, uh, I've had some cool little changes, and I do like it. And this smoke is very nice. It's Horse green, alien out. smoke. Just pouring out. Like like fuel, effectively. Like we've got to damage with fuel. The whole thing could blow, Jack. We've got to go now. <laughs> oh, and a nice red glimmer here, and a blinking green thing here. Sorry, I'm getting excited. It does have a very kind of like, um, gamey effect, like an action pack. Like a, like a yes. Call of Duty game, you know, with a little bit of damaged buildings and whatnot. It's mm. given that kind of impression, which I love. It's brilliant. So um, I think this beats. This is actually, this is actually better than the um, the, the cream, uh, cream one. Yeah, there's yeah, I of, would agree. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of detail in here. It, it feels like it's and barely alive. If you get my drift. I'm unsure whether I'm right again, but does it mean does the ground look a bit more grainy? Like there's little bits of dirt on it, like rubbed into the floor. I the light reflecting it. You're right. Because right. that might have been in the previous version, I can't exactly remember. But if it is new to this um, damaged version, that's really got. Ooh! Have you noticed as well, Jack? You know those mysterious lights we couldn't figure out where they were coming from? Mm hmm. They're red now. I or know. orangey red. Oh, quite dark. So, yeah. That is some interesting updates, haven't they? It's like. Ah! Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that's interesting. These lights are showing on the reflection here as well, but I can't see the lights. If anyone can shed uh, some light <laughs> on where these lights are, um, please do it. tell us. Yeah. Um. Right. Let's see if there's any difference with taking off and the sounds and whatever. The sounds will be different, apparently. I do remember it saying on the outcome.
Mm-hmm. It's, it, it could have done a little bit more of a damage sound effect, maybe, to that wheezing, like a wheezing sound. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Is it new? That sounds the same. That's yeah. got to be the same, 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 same. They do sound the same, yeah. Mm. Is that powered off, man? Hmm? Is that powered off? No, it's landed. It landed somewhere. I chose a random location. They've, they've turned all the lights off when, they, when it lands. Um, That's why I was out of save energy. One thing I do want to have a look at. What's that? Uh, the cloister bell. Ah, yes. Because it'll just go red, won't it? Oh. Okay. Well, well, I I will say one thing: the uh, the new uh, darker coloured lights definitely complements the cloister. Yeah, it might kind of it just mixes well, doesn't it, with the cloister bell? And just like our console, Jack, the blue at the top contrasting well with the red. Mm. I like it. I like it a lot. So, uh, let's turn this off. Oh, actually, lighting switch. Ah, not much of a difference, but definitely uh, added some colour to the console. So that's what I was saying when you landed. It didn't it didn't uh, make sense that all the lights are disappearing. It sounds because like you've got to turn the light on, have you? Yeah. But either way, it's very good. I like it. Mm. Um, uh, we, there wasn't many changes to this console anyway, but as I did say last week, there were some Easter eggs in this and the other one, I think, that three, but I still don't know, know where they are. Tell you what, let's do a little hunt. You, you could just keep clicking everything and just <laughs> see, see if anything happens. Like on a like panel or something, or this ball or anything. Just keep clicking away. Well, I don't think I'll get any response anyway, because I'm not the owner. So... Maybe the Easter eggs are something like the uh, the glow, the smoke or something. Perhaps it's just subtle Easter eggs. Hmm. Well, I found where the smoke is being protruded from. Hmm. I can't really see anything that indicates um, um, Easter egg. Right, yeah. Either way, we'll have to do some digging into that and see if we can find some in the future. A nice colour changes there. In contrast with the damage stuff. Oh, it's loud. <laughs> Jack, I've just found a reason as to why uh, NLS made this rustle on symbol separate parts. So they could make it damaged by taking a bit out. Sorry, I, I had to hear you then. <laughs> yes. Good point. So yes. So now we know why. Yeah, different parts that they can give the damage effect. It was literally they took the old console and started ripping parts of the mesh apart to create this damaged look. And then of course they imported some other mesh objects like this damaged rubble. That must have been it. Mm. Ah, fair enough. Using bits of the old one. By keeping it separate, like that. Okay, so that was pretty much all we could really add to it. Um, the, the main idea was to see how the how it compared with the clean version, and obviously, as we saw, it was mainly uh, detailing that was the difference. Um, I just thought it was really well put together and actually um, well contrasted and whatnot. So it is. It is interesting that how the exterior has different sound effects to the interior. True. I think it is anyway. So, but no, no, it does because we did that landing and the takeoff, didn't we? So, but either way, verdict time. Uh, John, what would you give the exterior? I would probably most likely give it the same as it was last time. Same amount of detail, of course, of the extra bits here. So I'm going to go with a nice high 9.5. 9.5. Okay. Interior. Um, very high 9.5. Okay. Very high. Um, Touching a 10, but not a 10. For me, I'll give the exterior a 9.5, but for the interior, I'm going to give it a 10. Oh, Yes. First 10, I think, isn't it? Mm-hmm. 
most certainly is. Um, but as I said, I'm really, I really want to give it a ten. And only the. Um, well, that, hang on. Oh, that is completely your opinion. So therefore, you keep it that way. Well, the thing yeah. is, I'm. Sure. I don't, I don't really know what I'm looking for when it comes to giving something a ten. I think it's just something that really blows me away. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that's but just... I, I really don't know whether it does that. It does do that. I mean, it's really good what they've got. I mean... Well, that is just... That is how you see it. That is perfectly... You know, that's, that's brilliant. Well, I'm that's saying it's the highest 9.5 I can give. Any If there was something better in the console that did something completely... I think that... There you go. The sounds weren't, weren't uh, damaged enough in mm. this interior. Yeah. So there's a good reason to not give it a full-on 10. But it is very high 9.5. So. Yeah. Okay. I perfectly agree with that. Right, folks, um, that is the end of our shortish review for this console. Like I said, it was going to be short because it was mainly the same as the other one. The only difference was the detailing of the actual building work. So, um, until next time, folks, take care, see you soon, and bye bye for now. Bye bye, guys! That is all we have for today, folks. Join us again next week on another Saturday Geeks video to find out what adventure we embark on next. Thank you for watching. Feel free to like and comment on the video below. Remember to subscribe so you can keep up to date with our latest videos. Till next time, take care, stay safe, and remember, let, let your geeky side out. out. Toodle pip. Toodle pip.